the 330, a 340 family, has two VORs, two DMEs, two ILSs, and two ADFEs. The FMGCs can automatically tune the VORs, DMEs, and ILSs for position updating and display purposes. Note, the optional ADFs are auto-tuned by the FMGCs only in some cases. Refer to FCOM. The radio navigation itself is controlled by both FMGCs and can be monitored through MCDU pages. Via the radio navigation page, either MCDU enables the crew to manually tune a specific nav aid, including both ADFs. FMGC auto-tuning continues normally in the background. Note that, when an ILS approach is selected, ILS-1 is displayed on PFD-1 and ND-2, ILS-2 is displayed on PFD-2 and ND-1. In all the modes except plan, the navades can be displayed, provided the ADF VOR selectors have been switched to VOR or ADF position. Here, as an example, the rows VOR mode with ADF1 and VOR2 selected. ADFs are shown as green pointers. Here, ADF-1. VORs are white pointers. In this example, VOR-2. Note also that the Receiver-1 data is displayed on the left side of the ND and the Receiver-2 data on the right side. The associated NAVAID data is displayed at the bottom of the ND in their respective colors and sides. You will see the different ND modes and navade tuning later in the course. In the unlikely event of a double FMGC failure, the backup tuning mode provides radio navigation redundancy to the crew. The backup tuning mode is accessed via the radio management panels RMP. Note, RMP3 has no backup tuning capability. To access the backup tuning mode, the navigation key has to be pressed. When the backup tuning mode is selected, the control of the associated receivers is transferred to the RMP, and the Nivade tuning capability of both FMGCs is lost. This is indicated on the MCDU by a change on the radio navigation page, which now shows only the titles. To return the control to the FMGC, the NEV key has to be pressed again. In backup tuning mode, the selection of one of the standby NEV keys enables the crew to tune the associated NEVADE. For NEVADE tuning, RMP1 standby navigation keys are associated with VOR1, DME1, and ADF1, while RMP2 keys are associated with VOR2. DME2 and ADF2.
The ILS keys are slightly different. The ILS frequency tuned on either RMP is sent to both ILSS or DMEs. The Digital Distance and Radio Magnetic Indicator DDRMI, is located on the main panel. The DDRMI displays ADF, VOR, and DME raw data. It combines traditional RMI and bearing pointer presentation. Two bearing pointers are provided, each with a different distinguishable shape. Each can display either VOR or ADF information. Each pointer has an associated selector. The left selector selects either VOR1 or ADF1. The right selector selects VOR2 or ADF2. Here, VOR1 and VOR2 are selected. The compass card displays the bearing as supplied by ADRU1. The counters indicate the DME distance. However, the window will display only dashes if an ADF is selected. Here, ADF2 is selected.